new hand washing device developed in Carmel is making breakthroughs in attacking the coronavirus, especially the highly contagious Delta variant. Its developers say it only uses water. CBS 4's Mike Sullivan tested it this afternoon, joins us now in our newsroom tonight. Mike? Well, that's right. No soap is necessary. The device uses ozone to get the job done. The only product is more oxygen and a smell similar to the air after a thunderstorm. While the science is heavy, the concept is pretty right. simple. Can you hold your hands out like that? I got it. A better, more efficient way to wash your hands, especially for those of us who... Wet them and then they hit the dry. That really doesn't do anything against this virus. Instead of the 20 seconds of hand washing recommended by the CDC... Seven seconds, shake them off, yep. A new device developed by 3OE Scientific in Carmel is cutting that time down dramatically, all without soap. We take regular tap water, and out of that regular tap water, we create ozone out of the H2O. It's called the Iggy. Ozone is nature's disinfectant. 3OE CEO, Dr. Tom Faust, saying the oxygen molecules in ozone are constantly trying to break apart the process itself. Punches a hole through that membrane, so a virus, bacteria, spore, all of those things. Including the COVID-19 variant. Their tests in FDA-approved labs show ozone kills 99% or more of coronaviruses. We believe that more than half the COVID-19 seen in our area is Delta variant. Dr. Brian Leon is a medical professor at IU. We're learning a few factors that we're, we don't like very much. Specifically, its impact on unvaccinated Hoosiers and elevated transfer rates. It tends to seem to involve uh, younger populations at a higher rate than the, than the first version of this virus. Making hand washing, especially for younger children, that much more important. Most of us aren't doing it the right way to start with. The IG is already in more than 60 schools in Atlanta, as well as city buildings in Carmel and Hancock County Hospital Wellness Centers. Aaron Talks bring more of them to Indiana schools as well. In the newsroom, I'm Mike Sullivan, CBS 4 News. Mike, thank you.